Much of the deep tropical Atlantic and Caribbean are clear this afternoon, but as we go north into the eastern Gulf of Mexico, that is where we find some distinct areas of convection, especially across the southeast Gulf extending eastward into the Florida Peninsula, and that will be the main topic of this afternoon's video. As we turn to the latest water vapor imagery, we see that there is a trough diving southward over the central Gulf Coast, but as we go east of there, that is where we see an area of upper-level divergence and that is why shower and thunderstorm activity is more prevalent in this region. There are a couple weak areas of low-level vorticity in the southeast Gulf, and that is the region where the low-level convergence is maximized, as you can see here, just to the west of the Florida Keys. But the wind shear values are very high. We're talking in excess of 50 to 60 knots across the eastern Gulf of Mexico. Therefore, no tropical development is expected. In terms of the heavy rainfall threat, the National Weather Service has issued a flood watch for South Florida, and the HPC is forecasting an excess of four inches of rainfall across the region. The 2 p.m. local time radar animation shows that much of the Sunshine State is experiencing isolated to occasionally heavy rainfall, with another heavy round moving into the Florida Keys over the next one to two hours. The latest rainfall estimates from the Miami Doppler radar over the last 12 to 14 hours is already showing some areas receiving in excess of 2 to 3 inches. Some relief will arrive by the second half of the weekend as we do have this cold front pushing through the southeast United States and that will push all of the convective activity into the Bahamas by Sunday. There are some timing issues between the different forecast models, but the NAM forecast model, which is the model we're currently viewing, shows the front continuing to push more toward the southeast and here we are by 24 hours so this is tomorrow morning the front is now making its way through the florida panhandle and by sunday the rain will definitely clear out of south florida and finally the latest 500 millibar forecast from the gfs model over the next seven to eight days shows a persistent trough lingering across the eastern united states which should continue to usher in a lot of wind shear across the gulf of mexico caribbean sea and west atlantic Therefore, no development is anticipated in the tropics over the next several